Hey guys, this is Hee Haw with Dark Moon Cards and Games, back to bring you the matches that we played with this. Uh, Drell done V deck, just as a reminder, you know, we are using Hard Coat to reduce 30, using Agaslash to reduce another 30, Lucario and Melmetal to reduce another 30, and Metal Goggles to reduce a yet another 30. And again, I want you to think about as you watch these matches, not as these adding that kind of HP to Duraludon, he's 220, but think of it more about the of what you're facing and uh, how much damage they do to you and just subtract. Hopefully all 120 you know, it goes, depends on how the games go. Pretty easy to get 90, uh, if everything works well, we'll get 120 reduction on anything done to us and see if we can tank this big tanky looking uh, steel Pokemon and make some games uh, Pretty tough on people. Like I said, pretty interesting uh, trip uh, trying to play some games with this so far. A lot of people, as they slowly start to realize this combination of all of these uh, defensive parts of this game, scoop. I played a block of about 10 games, and seven of those were all scoops after two or three turns, where the different decks I was playing against had kind of slow starts, uh, with an ADP, pretty much all the standard stuff you always see on there. But as they realized uh, what I was doing, uh, nobody really ever gave it a chance to really work itself out and play. Um, and then I had a second stretch after we took a break and came back, and I swear I hit five or six fire decks in a row, of which I just got destroyed by all of those. And took another break and came back and got some pretty interesting games. So uh, let's go check those out and uh, get a better look at how this uh, this unusual little monster slash building holds up. It's so lost the uh, coin flip here, and my opponent chose to go second. It's gonna be our first try with this one uh, sporting. A couple small changes. We originally had two to Denny and just two rare candies. And Jirachi's in this. Uh, dropped those guys out. Added a Crobat. And, uh, and added a rare candy because we were missing. Uh, let's see. I want to talk myself through my uh, turn and mess up here. I guess we'll go with Crobat. They get the uh, Hone Edge. Ooh, don't want to do that yet. We can just get another one out. Hold what we got. Probably not super hard for Mew, uh, Mewtwo to do um, 60 damage on their opening turn. I'm guessing, uh, seems like all these versions of this I've seen today anyway have been the Blastoise thing that somebody else must have played somewhere so everybody can copy it and uh, play it for a few days until they get tired of it or maybe realize that it's more complicated a more complicated list than a lot of people can play. Mewtwo Mew is very dependent on making the right decisions at the right time. Biggest part of this matchup that I do not like, at least in terms of uh, what we can do, is that Incineroar. If they play Incineroar, kind of have to sort of sit back and wait and see if they... Uh... Well, that's confusing. If they uh, use a GX move off of somebody else, I have no idea where this is going with Gengar and Picaram. Maybe going to be playing Aurora Energies and just trying to, I guess, Poltergeist. I guess Poltergeist makes more sense in it because you usually play a few Psychics in this anyway, or at least I used to in the uh, versions that I played. I haven't played this one for a while. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a 
little bit of a utility type deck. I don't know if they would be trying to just turbo or um, full blitz with Picarom or trying to actually get to. Uh, what on earth was that? Oh, they horror housed. <laughs> so I can't play any cards. Oh, that was an exciting turn. Okay. I guess they're going to try to hit with the uh, Poltergeist. Which I do have a lot of items. Let's see if we can fix that here in the next turn. It's 50 for each one. Yeah, they'll do something uh, helpful for me, like going after a Crobat, something they can take out. Would not hurt my feelings any. It's just to get rid of Swell. Big Charm makes it a little, uh, little tougher climb. Getting to 270 with the Raladon is not super hard. Getting to 300 is a uh, one more attachment, but that's. Six energy, no, seven energies on Duraladon. So that's getting a little ugly. We'll go ahead and go active with this one. Yeah, want to play our hand down as much as we can, though. Get rid of some of these. Oh well, no to Denny. That's very much bad. Yeah, I don't have a way to get energy or... Oh, yes I do. What am I like thinking? There's a way to get energy. Thank you, Viridian Forest. Can't really decide whether we there's any benefit to killing the Coco or not. He's got resistance, so actually we can't. Let's hold the uh, bosses. One thirty on there. One more energy will be a two hit because we'll do uh, we'll do 170 if they don't heal or do something else but maybe they'll uh, be distracted by hone edge go after that definitely have their work out cut out for them to try to one shot this to rally on think um, I think incineroar is about the only way to get there Maybe going to Full Blitz here. I think Full Blitz takes three lightnings though. I don't think the Psychic helps them. Is there any more? Trying to get it to where 90 damage is just a zero damage against us. A reset stamp. I'd like to have my bosses back, but outside of that doesn't hurt my feelings. And 40 less. <laughs> this deck has definitely uh, got some tricks up its sleeve. I'm not sure it exactly knows where it's going. Still trying to kind of navigate my way. Oh, there's a heal. 70. We'll have to get an extra energy now. That stinks. None in my discard pile. I have to say that at this point I'm probably is 
at least as equally confused by this deck as they probably are by mine. <laughs> so we're on even footing, if nothing else. So. So, kind of a lightning box with Mewtwo and Jolteon. <laughs> I'm just getting, uh, the more things hit the field here, just the more confused I am. Let's see what went into the discard pile. We're definitely handicapped here. Uh, the Dene is prize. We would love to draw a supporter. I'll take any of the above. Erica, Marnie, research. Only 90 there. So we go four there, that's 170. I change it up on them. Definitely throwing all the resources we have at it. And we're gonna disable this uh, this Me Too for sure. And we are definitely on a whatever we draw off the top for the next couple turns probably. <laughs> Heal that back down. I guess we can kind of keep that in check and just uh, steal fist until we get somewhere. If this deck uh, Duraludon had any healing in it, it would be uh, it would be gross beyond belief. So we're going to go back to lightnings. Forget what we can do for two lightnings. I guess they can Jolteon. Jolteon. What does Jolteon do? Not much. <laughs> okay. Does not break my heart either. We're gonna go with this, so at least we can do some damage and keep chipping away, and then of course we get the energy that we need. Let's go this route. Let's see how many energies we have. Yeah, we'll definitely attach one. Back to 120, so I think we're just gonna bounce off each other here for a few turns. Can't get Aegislash in play because I've lost both Hone Edges. But we're still reducing quite a bit. That extra 30 would be uh, nice, but. From all the games we played, that is the hardest thing to achieve, is to actually get that Aegislash in play. Down to four cards, so... Uh, might be able to boss us and kill a Crobat. But they're definitely going to be uh, digging, trying to hit something here. We can always manually retreat this uh, Lucario Melmetal too if we have to. Ten. Have to do that a couple more times for that to matter.
Communications, rare candy, all that is uh, pretty much all for none at this point. Don't think they can heal out of range though, because we can go to uh, 210. Going for that beefy Duraladon. Which again, if we don't get paralyzed or anything else weird here, we will. Uh, we will just manually retreat. And if they manually retreat, we'll just catch it with bosses and, and kill it. I think that's uh, probably game at that point. Kind of worry about this stadium, though. They get us close, but don't knock us out. And then we can't attack. <laughs> that's, uh, I think that's the first deck I've encountered that uses that. I can see... Uh, I can see the use, anyway. So we're at 210 there. I'm gonna hope that they just don't have bosses. So that's good. We can switch. Allows us to hold on to our boss. communications because they are uh, not useful anymore. Don't need another Duraladon either. I'm getting back out. Ought to be some good stuff in here. We got two cards remaining, so don't know if Zerkatry will maybe they can take out the catch and take out the um, Lucario Melmetal. Don't see too many other plays going on right now. reset stamp or anything like that we'll just use the bosses and end this grindy little match This one we just win by uh, kind of by default here. Let's see how many energies we can get back on. interesting matches that I've played for quite a while. This has been the oddest night so far uh, playing we have either played against something that plays three turns against us in scoops or we've played Cine Scorch V Max Lucephalon Charizard Cinderace, every fire deck uh, I think in existence, <laughs> or at least 
that exists in standard at the moment. Looks like they are trying to bluff uh, what they're playing by the box. So this is probably going to be another uh, concession type game. Just because Duraladon. Duraladon. We'll have to. We'll have to swap to Ega Slash in this. Still want to kind of start it out the same. But we want to get to both Aga Slash. Um, I'd like to get our uh, Lucario Melmetal's attack off. Switch there. and see. I don't know if this thing plays any kind of hammer type uh, cards in it or not. Also have not played this recently enough to know uh, to know what the uh, HP on the Sidua is. We'll have to do more than 130 to get it, but if we can, it's 140. Just barely out of reach of being one shotted by Aegislash. Slash. for a mighty two. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be down to one Aegis Slash, so we've really got a full metal wall. And, uh, not worried about the hammers. They can play hammers till they, uh, till their wrist gets sore on that one. Don't know if we can beat this thing up, though, to where, uh, we can reduce... 60 from Decidueye, which makes it a pretty Oh, that's good saves me a switch Just prevents the damage. Okay. So, from that standpoint, I am not worried about uh, that, that's full metal wall gets. Say goodbye to their energy. It gives us protection now from uh, Rowlet doing his little snipey thing. Actually keeps this one out of reach. This is a uh, definitely a interesting matchup. I think we're gonna see if we can shenanigan our way around this this way.
Okay. Turbo patch does not want to work. That's fine. Be that way, turbo patch. much of a hand to deal with. Let's put that there just to make that a, a non-factor for them. We got both Ega Slash and all the candies, so I guess we'll give them a target here with Crobat. two saucers, one more patch, and probably going to have to uh, probably going to have to uh, research on this next turn. So they can chip away at uh, do I have more cards? I'm trying to see if I have more cards left in uh, left in the deck than they do. If we can get to an Aga Slash, I think we get to a point where they don't hardly even damage us. Actually, no, they won't damage us. We just got to get to one and just sit behind it and then I guess they try to slowly kill our uh, Crobat while I draw every energy I have left in the deck apparently. Definitely a little bit more frustrating and just the fact that uh, it's not like anything that I need is prized. It's just stuck in the 19 cards that remain. slowly play this one out until we draw what we need. We will let them kill this Crobat in how many more turns? <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Oh, well, for Pete's sake. Alright, so let's attach. There. Let's communicate this guy in. See if we can accelerate this a little bit. I'm gonna fall asleep uh, playing this. Much less uh, trying to watch it. Yay! Then we switch to Aegislash. just slowly kill them as they slowly try to kill us somehow another I just have to last for 11 turns all oh, please retreat knock yourself out <laughs> I'll take it that actually helps because we can just draw pretty much the rest of our deck and then Marnie when we get close to decking. This is really nothing other than just riding the Aegis Slash to victory very, very slowly. But when you play just a sort of block your opponent from doing anything deck, um, I don't know. Uh, feel too much sympathy on that one. Need to remind myself what he does. I 
going to try to Destiny Stinger. Right now, we just want to draw cards. The more cards we have, the more we can put back with, uh... What does this one do? Evolution Pokemon. <laughs> Not gonna be upset about trolling a troll deck, so... There's another... fun, uh, not-expected game with Duraludon. Alrighty, there you have it. Two pretty different games, uh, definitely a bit off the beaten path, which is good for a deck that's pretty far off the path already, I'd say. And when you get uh, coding energy, uh, I'd say play around with the counts. Four probably is not necessary. I'm probably going to try three of them first, just swapped for basic energies, and then uh, if it looks like I can get by cutting to two, I'm going to probably do that. Um, just because you need basic energy for Metal Saucer and for Turbo Patch, you just don't want to have to be digging for those constantly or trying to get them into the discard pile. So you know, I don't think you want to cut that number down too much. But if you give this guy a try, uh, good luck and have fun with it. See if you can figure out a way to make it better than what I've done. And until next time, this has been Hee Haw with Dark Moon Cards and Games. Be not afraid. Later.